Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And you know what? The window pane test can be a really helpful technique to tell if your dough is fully kneaded or not, but only if you do it properly. Let's go. Hey home bakers and happy Thursday to you all. Thank you so much for stopping by to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I share a little bit of bread making wisdom every single week with you. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. Consider clicking that subscribe button if this sort of thing is for you. Now we're all huge fans of the Great British Bake Off on BBC, am I right? Wait, it's not on BBC anymore. It's on Channel 4. Am I right? And so we'll all be very familiar with that moment in the tent when the contestants are trying to determine whether or not their bread dough is fully kneaded. And they're quite understandably often overthinking the process because they're under immense pressure from a certain Mr. Hollywood's frown lines. <laughs> You may well have seen the contestants taking a little piece of dough, going up to the marquee window and stretching out the piece of dough. And what they're actually doing is called the window pane test. Now in a recipe you quite often see this mentioned and people will say stuff like take a little piece of dough, stretch it out really thin, hold it up to the window and if you can see light through it, that means it's fully kneaded. And all this is very, very subjective, but the point is if you've worked the dough properly and kneaded it enough, what you've done is essentially strengthened it. You work in the elasticity in the gluten to give the dough strength and structure. So therefore, if you were to stretch it out nice and thin, the gluten is so strong, it's strong enough to make that dough go really, really super thin before it breaks and you can see light through it when you hold it up to a light source. The window pane test can be very, very subjective because the result depends upon how you interpret the instruction and also what sort of dough you're making. Uh, because all flours are slightly different, whether they're wholemeal, whether they've got bits and bobs in or whatever. For the purpose of this video, I've made a dough. It's pretty much all strong white bread flour, just a little bit of wholemeal to show you because it will be much more evident in something that is much more white. So firstly, what you need to do is let your dough rest up for like a minute, that's all. After you've done the kneading and the hard work, let it rest up for a minute. The dough has been through quite a stressful time and it's really quite difficult to figure out what's going on inside of the dough straight away after kneading it. Give it a minute, let it rest up, let it chill out before you do anything else. Secondly, dust your dough a little bit and cut a piece off. I'm talking a piece like this. Not like a little tiny piece the size of a ping pong ball, you need something decent to work with. If you have kneaded the dough properly now, it have its own elasticity, it have its own uh, strength and like snap back. It's got a stretch limit to it, it's got bounce, right? But if you take it past that stretch limit, it's always, always gonna tear. So the idea is we wanna sort of tease it out under its own weight slowly, slowly rotate it and its own weight and a little bit of pulling should let it come out nice and thin without pulling it past that stretch limit. Bit by bit by bit. Continue stretching little by little until it's nice and thin and then hold it up to a light source. Hold on a minute. Ta-da! There we go, right, that's better, isn't it? Hold it up to a light source, dum dum ding, like this, right? And you should be able to see the light through it before it breaks. See? See that? Nice thin membrane. I hope that shows up nicely on there. Might be a little bit too bright, but a nice thin membrane and it's not broken, okay? You can see the light really clearly through that thin membrane. Ah, burnt myself on a bulb. That is really thin now, really thin. If you go far, it is always gonna break. Of course it is, but that, hopefully you can see, is really strong and a really thin membrane. Under there, right? Membrane, it sounds a bit wrong, but it's a really thin, strong layer of dough. Quite a nice thing to do if you're new to the window pane test is to um, try and do it just after you mix your dough. Mix the water and the flour and the yeast and the salt all together and then try and do the window pane test, because it ain't gonna happen. And then what'll happen is when you come to it, you'll really appreciate what the difference is after, and you'll really appreciate what you're looking for in the strength of that thin layer. 
Once again, as I say every single week, thank you very much for hanging out with me on here. I hope I provide you with something useful to help you make amazing bread at home every single time. And if you really want to help me out, this channel grows because you guys press buttons. It's as simple as that. If you can press the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And I think there's a little notification bell somewhere. If you're really keen to click and then every time I put a video on every week, you'll be the first to hear about it. But thank you very much, very, very much for being here every week. I really appreciate it, seriously. Wicked. Have a nice week and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.